and welcome to another video. So today I am super excited to show you what is in the April Fairy Loot box. So this box was another box that was delayed by a couple of weeks, I think. No, more than that. We're talking like almost a month. And it finally got here. And I think after this box, there's the May box, which is shipping only a couple of weeks late. And then like shipping is supposed to be is expected to resume a regular schedule for fairy loot but this is here if i'm remembering correctly april is the box that is memories themed and had some very nice artwork so i'm excited to see what kinds of things they put together let's get into it this is the spoiler card with the artwork on it and it is memories themed and i put these particular artworks around this quilt that is my background here so I'll add this to that collection and then leave it off to the side so that I can reference it in case there's anything in here I'm confused about <gasps> they changed the confetti color so the confetti is usually purple it's black in this box maybe they're just mixing it up I still hate the confetti I get that that, that like things need cushioning and stuff and like this paper confetti is better than like a plastic bubble wrap alternative but wow it's messy all right so we've got this first thing i'm excited okay it's canvas so i'm like i don't know i don't know what it's gonna be yes. Ooh, it's so pretty so this is a tote bag it says the court of Terrasen on one side, and then on the back there is a quote by Sarah J. Mass. So this one says, so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are, and no Terrasen is forever with them. I think Terrasen is from Throne of Glass which is a series I've just started to really read in earnest. I've only gotten through the second book and I'm bad with country names and like geography. So I am not 100% sure, but I am fairly sure. And I love the fairy loot tote bags. I only have one from their October box or September. It was like a witchy themed box for Halloween and the fall. And it is so good. I use it whenever I'm going out, like instead of a purse because purses get in my way and I love it so much. It recently met an accident. One of the handles started to rip off because it got caught under the back seat of my chair in the car and then I tried to pull it out from under some stuff and then it ripped. So that's really more on me than the tote bag, but I'm glad that I have another one. I've also started to store my reusable grocery bags in one of these tote bags because these tote bags are super thick and super sturdy. And like if I made all of my reusable tote bags this kind of material, they would be really expensive. But I found some slightly cheaper reusable bags that nevertheless have worked quite well for me and they are meant to be like folded and put into this other bag, but it's so hard to fold them. So I've started to just ball them up and put them in my other fairy loot tote bag. And now I got this one. So this is going to be coming around with me in the spring. I mean, look at those bruises and summer. Like it's good, even in the fall because of the dark colors. This is like all year round. Next, we have this little package, which is usually what they put like ornaments or jewelry in. Ooh, but today it is a pin. This is a memory vial pin. It's an enamel pin. I don't know what it's inspired by. So now we're going to reference the spoiler card. So the tote bag is inspired by Throne of Glass. Oh, this is a memory vial that's inspired by the pen sieve in Harry Potter. So this is where they'd store the memories and then dip them into that like well thing. This is kind of a strange thing to include for this theme. These are emoji sticky tabs. So they're little flags that have emoji designs on them. And the rationale behind these is that they can't, you can put them next to your favorite places in a book and then always like remember where they are so you don't forget. 
not really feeling this. I understand sticky tabs, but like emojis? I don't know. I don't like emoji designs very much. Like I'll use them in the occasional text message, but I don't love them enough to put them on like things around my house. I feel like any neutral sticky tab would have been better. But you know, I don't know what I'll do with those. Next, we have this washi tape. I believe it's a washi tape. So this is a washi tape that is meant to help with journaling, which helps to uh, record and express memories. So that's the tie-in to the theme. And this is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. That's the theme. I love washi tape. I love when my two hobbies intersect, when I can find planner stuff that's like bookish and bookish things that are planner related. So this is the tape, it's really nice. And it's shimmery. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah, so that's the tape. It's going to be kind of hard to get it to focus any closer. So I know what this is because it was teased and I'm excited about it. Let's see. <gasps> and it's so pretty. All right, so this is the Secret Book Box Volume 3. It is a box. It looks like a very decorative book, but it does open up. And on the inside, you've got art and quotes from various things. It smells really good. I have volume two from a box. I don't even know where I put it, but I have volume two. I don't have the first volume. And now that I've planned to keep Fairy Loot for a while, I kind of wish I had the first volume just so they would be complete. And I think at some point, Fairloot does intend to have sales to bring back some of the past boxes if you have missed them. But I'm sure there's delays with that because of everything. They're having shipping delays. They're probably having like release delays as well. But yeah, I really like the colors, the purple and the gold. And then this little like wings design. This is my favorite one of the two, maybe of the three. I feel like I've seen the first one and this one is still my favorite. So here we have the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. These are the tarot cards for the month and they are inspired by Throne of Glass, but it doesn't say what characters they are and I'm not sure that I know. I would not want, not want to guess. I don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe Kalina? But I feel like last month we also did Throne of Glass and I didn't know those characters. So I'm not really sure who these are either. I haven't gone back to look at the others, but this is what they look like. Let me know down in the comments if you know who they are because I'm not really sure. Very pretty though. I like them. Keep collecting them. And this is the last thing other than the book. This is a Saint Germain pin banner inspired by The Beautiful by Renee Audier. So this was in their October box and I did have that book and I'm excited for a pin banner. So this is what it looks like. And I know that Fairy Loot has done pin banners in the past and I have been waiting to get one in one of their boxes because I have pins that need places to go. And I like the idea of a pin banner just because you can like hang them up out of the way and still look at them. Right now my pins are in weird places and now I can put them on this. It's Saint Germain themed. I guess that's the like design. I don't know enough about that family in the beautiful, but that's the theme. Okay, so I got a glimpse of the spoiler card of what the book is and I I was hoping that this is the book. When I read the blurb that Fairy Loot offers, every time they release a theme, they give you a small like hint as to what the book might be so that you know not to, if you want to guess, you can know not to buy that book or get it from another book box or something like that. And I was hoping that this was going to be the book they they included. I wasn't sure which month it was, but I remember seeing the blurb and then I remember seeing the book and thinking, wow, I want to read that, but I shouldn't buy it because I think it's coming. So 
So you always get a fairy loop bookmark with just the artwork of whatever that month's theme is. You also get a character print with a letter from the author, whoops, a letter from the author on the back. This one feels like a different material. Most of the prints are less floppy than this. I don't know what that's about, but this is the artwork. And then this is the book, Incendiary by... Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. Cordova. And I love this cover. I love the version of this cover. It has red sprayed edges. It's black on red with some blue. It does have reverse jacket cover art. Looks like this. Ooh, and like the cover is red and shiny. And it is signed. So I don't want to read out the whole synopsis, but I will bring it up. Feel free to pause and get a glimpse of what that says if you would like to know. I will also try to put the link to the Goodreads down below so that you can read the description yourself. We have the Fairy Scoop, which always includes an interview with the author on the inside as well as something that shows you the difference between the two covers. So this is the exclusive Fairy Loot edition and the main difference other than like the reverse dust jacket art, the signed book, the sprayed edges, is that the actual cover is red in the background and this one is black. So you can kind of see that there. If you look it up, you can also find it there. Very excited. I love this book. I've been wanting to read it. It's, I'm not even, I don't, so good. It's about a memory thief and like a rebellion, I think, against a crown. So very excited to read this book. Oh, and it's so pretty. I, I love the cover. Yeah, this this box was fun. I think if I had to summarize, I don't like the emoji flags, but I love the tote bag and I love the book. And honestly, the cost of these two things alone is basically the price of the box. So if I like two or three things in the box, I am not upset, even if I don't like everything. So the box does ship. They have a US distribution center, I believe, and I pay after taxes, shipping, etc., $41 and some cents, about $42 a month. And they always have a special edition book. Alone, this hardcover's MSRP is 15 euros, which is a little more in dollars, probably something like 18 US dollars. Tote bags of this quality are, you know, upwards of 12 or 15. And then you get all the other stuff. So I always think that Fairy Loot's a pretty good value. I love the books that they send. They are within the very specific niche of books that I really enjoy reading. Any other genre, it like depends on the book, but YA Fantasy is where I am at right now. So I love the box, I love the books. I'm excited to use this tote bag. Yeah, so. Definitely let me know what you think. Have you ever received a fairy loot box? And if you have, what's one of your favorite items that you have received? I think that this tote bag is actually on high on the list of favorite things I've ever received, but I don't know. So let me know what you think down in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.